my own world of make believe. Kids screaming in the crowd. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, am I hot today. So I just got a call from the owner, our, our old landlord. And just got a call from my old landlord and he's saying he's about to tow all of my cars out. Now I told El Jefe, you take two cars to the new lot where you keep in all the other customers' cars and I'll take two cars. Now he was supposed to get the Monte Carlo SS started. He told me last time I spoke to him that he could not start it. So he told me the last time that I spoke to him that he could not get it started. So I told him, well, let me know because I, I gave you the starter fluid and there's nothing really wrong with that car. It's just been sitting. For, for a minute so you know I didn't hear anything from him I'm, I'm waiting on him to call me but again the owner of the establishment called me and told me he's about to tow my cars out so I had some choice words with him real quick and told him he about to bring out the real in me that he don't know exists you know, because I'm a different type of person when it comes to business. But now this is not business anymore. This is personal. I'm going to try my best to keep it business. But we're about to see because I'm about to pull up. So keep your fingers crossed. Because if I don't finish this video or you don't get it, you ain't going to know anyway. But I'm going to be somewhere where I don't want to be. And I don't think you guys don't want me to be there either. But let me get up in here and uh, figure out all this nonsense that's going on. Alright guys. So, El Jefe and I just finished talking and he brought me up to speed. And to say, oh wow, all the trees is cut. But uh, anyhow, to save you guys from a long, drawn-out explanation, the bottom line is I just got to find somewhere to bring my cars. One, two, three, four. And the way it's looking is that I'm going to probably end up just leaving the Mercedes here. I got to find somewhere for this. This is realistically the most important car that I need to find somewhere for this thing to go because this is my aunt's truck. She didn't ask for this. I offered to fix this truck up for her. She didn't ask me to do it. I said, you know, let me give this truck a refresh. And, uh... I bought it out here. We got the new body on it. We did the frame. We put that, you know, special coat in. I know it doesn't, you can't see, it doesn't look like it. But I put a special coating on the frame to prevent it from rusting. So we did a frame off job. And uh, all that is neither here nor there right now. Right now, what I got to do is find a place for the K5. And more than likely, I'm going to see if I could just, you know, sell the Monte Carlo. Time to give up the ghost, y'all. I really, really wanted to do this project, but it's time to give up the ghost. Monte Carlo's for sale. Hit me up if you're interested, if it even lasts that long. So as you can see, I'm collecting all of the little parts and 
screws, nuts, bolts. As you can see, the old uh, gas tank is removed. I need a new gas tank. I gotta get all the way over there to get those screws. Oh boy, I don't know how I'm gonna do this one, but I gotta figure this out because the bends is, is way too close. So, and I'm not about to crawl under this. I got one, two, three, four, five big bolts. And uh, look at this gas tank, a uh, uh, muffler rather. That muffler has had it. Either way, I gotta figure something out with this. All right, so as we speak, all of this stuff is coming out too. I know it's a mess, but it's been a lot worse. You guys have seen it, but uh, a lot of this stuff is coming out now. And I'll keep you posted. Hey, my motherfucker, why you wanna press me for some motherfucking money? I got your bitch ass four bands up front, nigga. No, nah, fuck you, nigga. You a bitch, Miguel. I should beat your motherfucking ass. I should beat your motherfucking ass. Now you call me to get my motherfucking car door. I should beat your motherfucking ass, Miguel. I should beat your motherfucking ass. Shut your bitch ass up, nigga. You a bitch. Oh, you can't beat my motherfucking car. You can't beat my motherfucking car. Nah, fuck you, nigga. Bitch ass. Nah, fuck you, nigga. Bitch ass. <laughs> Vamos! Oh man! Okay. Oh, oh, oh! Cuba! That's for me! No, no, they're gonna, they're gonna let them wheel it past. They'll wheel it out to the street. here today everybody having their cars towed including me
y'all. This is uh, two to go. Well, two down and four to go. Cuba gonna take mine next. He's gonna drop this one off and then he's gonna come back and uh, get mine. See, see. All right, hopefully he calls me back today because uh, this one just got the word that uh, they're gonna try to take it to a storage place, get a storage, but in case there's no storage, then he's gonna take it home to his house. Um, I don't know how long that's gonna take, so I don't know if I'm gonna stick around, but uh, today we was an exciting day, <laughs> to say the least. Today was an exciting day. Uh, so guys, the Monte Carlo may have sold already. I made a couple of calls and uh, I'm getting inquiries for pictures. So I'm taking the pictures now and uh, we'll see where this goes. Say bye to my high school sweetheart. Sad. So guys, another ex <laughs> another exciting day at the shop. Shop life is a mug, boy, I tell you. Anyhow, I, I, I told this guy, man, I told him a thousand times, Stop playing with these customers, man. Stop taking these deposits and not working on people's cars. And, you know, this just made my problems look very minute. Because I came up here with the same energy. I, I could not even record. You guys had to see that one. But uh, the owner of the shop came copping a plea. El Jefe came copping a plea. He met me at the gates because he was calling me. I wasn't picking up his calls. He texted me. I just texted him, look, I'll be there in five minutes. And that was it. But um, other than that, man, this this was, you know, that, that situation was way more dire than mine. So I guess after all, I, I didn't really have it that bad. But um. Again, I'm still in the process of looking for places for my cars, for, you know, where they're going to go. I'll keep you guys updated if I'm going to have the SS up for sale or if it's sold. But other than that, y'all, again, another crazy day at the shop. Uh, it's sadly a typical day, but uh, it is what it is, man. You know, thanks for hanging out with me if y'all made it to this part of the video, man. And, uh, you know, if, if you've been to the channel more than three or four times, man, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button, man. It don't cost nothing, but it does help. You heard? It helps my videos get out to more people who want to see content like this. And, uh, you know, if, if, if you know, you're feeling your boy's uh, content, help me out, man. Hit the like button subscribe, do all that good stuff. You know what to do, man. Other than that, I'm out. I'll see y'all on the next one. I think. Who loves you, baby?